we continue to recommend ourselves as God's ministers. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Watchtower Examination. I'm hoping you're doing great. I am not feeling great myself. I'm physically okay. I mean, I'm feeling quite fine, but I'm having some concerns about my vision. It is, it's not a nice look. It's not a nice feeling, and I am getting really concerned. Anyhow, let's get into the video. It is interesting that just days after this channel produced video 1268 about how much better Jehovah's Witnesses would have been with artificial intelligence handling their disciplinary matters than the robots who serve as elders on judicial committees. The Watchtower's unnatural intelligence, as I choose to call it, takes on artificial intelligence in an article posted at jw.org. I have posted a link to the article in the description because I will not bore you with what they had to say before explaining what the Bible says about artificial intelligence or what they say the Bible says. I did not know the Bible spoke about artificial intelligence beyond the general and on point prophecy that in the last days knowledge will increase. But before I get into the explanation of what they say the Bible says about artificial intelligence, allow me to tell you about the Watchtower's unnatural intelligence. Unnatural intelligence is this. Satan and his agents were not able to prevent the appointment of the faithful and discreet slave. Unnatural intelligence is making solid conclusions from zero data. There is nothing in the Bible about Jesus appointing a faithful and discreet slave in 1919, and absolutely nothing in the Bible that says that Satan and his angels would try to stop what has never occurred. Unnatural intelligence draws contradicting conclusions from the data it collects. In 1919, Jesus placed the key of the house of David upon the shoulder of the faithful and discreet slave by appointing that slave class over all his belongings. Jesus' arrival to appoint the faithful slave over all his belongings did not occur in 1919. Unnatural intelligence is drawing conclusions that go directly against the available evidence. Like how the information in the Bible is that there is one God and one mediator between God and man, and went on to explain what makes him effectively the sole qualified mediator, because he died so that all men can be redeemed from sin. This is the data that unnatural intelligence consumes. For there is one God and one mediator between God and men, a man, Christ Jesus, who gave himself a corresponding ransom for all. And this is the conclusion that unnatural intelligence draws from the data. Jesus Christ is not the mediator between Jehovah God and all mankind. He is the mediator between His Heavenly Father, Jehovah God, and the nation of spiritual Israel, which is limited to only 144,000 members. Unnatural intelligence is incapable of seeing how the data that itself produces applies to self. Jehovah God is the grand identifier of his true messengers. He identifies them by making the messages he delivers through them come true. Jehovah is also the great exposer of false messengers. How does he expose them? He frustrates their signs and predictions. In this way, he shows that they are self-appointed prognosticators whose messages really spring from their own false reasoning. Yes, their foolish, fleshly thinking. How can we protect ourselves against false teachers? The Bible's counsel regarding how to deal with them is clear. 
avoid them, says God's word. Other translations render that phrase, turn away from them, keep away from them, and stay away from them. There is nothing ambiguous about that inspired counsel. All the churches of Christendom were included in modern-day Babylon. Why? Because they all taught doctrinal lies. With humans, I think we all know that it isn't always the truth, or they have to revise it or change it later on. And finally, unnatural intelligence takes data and forms irrelevant, incorrect conclusions as found in their article on artificial intelligence. Time will tell to what extent AI will be used for good or for bad. What does the Bible say? Why human efforts create uncertainty. The Bible shows why humans cannot guarantee that their technological advances will result in being used only for good. Someone forgot to tell unnatural intelligence that the creators of artificial intelligence never, ever claimed that artificial intelligence or AI would be used only for good, just as no one ever claimed that video production would be used only for good. As you can see, video production is also used for evil, blasphemous propaganda. Since Jehovah God and Jesus Christ completely trust the faithful and discreet slave, should we not do the same? Unnatural intelligence is incapable of seeing how the very conclusions it draws from the scriptures applies to itself. Point one. Even when people have good intentions, they may not foresee the negative effects of their actions. There is a way that seems right to a man but in the end, it leads to death. Proverbs 14, 12. That's right. Unnatural intelligence does not see how Proverbs 14, verse 12 applies to this nonsense. We can have absolute trust in the governing body. It is because Hermanus Vanselm has absolute trust in the governing body why he made an ass of himself going on video to tell the world that the Bible confirms that some of the anointed will be with them when Gog attacks them. According to this watchtower, the nations will attack us while the anointed Christians are still on earth. Now, where does the Bible confirm that statement? At Ezekiel chapter 38, verse 16 only to have the governing body turn around and present information that the claim is not true. When the anointed are taken to heaven near the very end of the great tribulation, but before Armageddon, yes, there will be an attack from Gog of Magog. And the reason unnatural intelligence preaches absolute trust in the governing body is that unnatural intelligence has not computed this data correctly. Thus saith the Lord, Cursed be the man that trusteth in man, and maketh flesh his arm, and whose heart departeth from the Lord. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in man. Put not your trust in princes, nor in the Son of Man, in whom there is no help. Unnatural intelligence draws silly, ridiculous, irrelevant conclusions about artificial intelligence. Point two. A person has no control over how others will use or misuse his work. I must leave my work behind for the man coming after me, and who knows whether he will be wise or foolish. Yet he will take control over all the things I spent great effort and wisdom to acquire under the sun. Ecclesiastes 2, 18 and 19 The creators of artificial intelligence never said it will have control over how the service will be used. What's the point? The point is, they are desperately trying to look intelligent by finding scriptures that apply to artificial intelligence, totally oblivious to how silly they look and sound. The nonsense continues. 
where we can put our confidence. Our Creator promises that He will never allow humans or any technology that humans create to destroy the earth or mankind. The earth remains forever. Ecclesiastes 1.4 The righteous will possess the earth, and they will live forever on it. Psalm 37.29 Who told unnatural intelligence that artificial intelligence intends to destroy humanity? And the earth. There are numerous ways that artificial intelligence is superior to unnatural intelligence. You can count on artificial intelligence to a far greater extent for accurate, truthful information on its worst day than you can expect from unnatural intelligence operating at normal. But there is one thing that artificial intelligence has in common with unnatural intelligence. It's called gigo in the techno world. Garbage in, garbage out. May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Mm-hmm.